Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a sort of month long vlog that I'm going to do. So let me kind of explain. Um, the last sort of three or four weeks, um, I've been eating crazy, man. Seriously. I've been like stuffing my face silly with it being Christmas. Normally we do like eat a little more at Christmas. Um, but we went down to London at the beginning of December. And ever since then, we've kind of like not been back on our diets, which is really, really bad. And... Um, yeah, so we're at a point now where it is Wednesday the 27th of December, so the day after Boxing Day, and today is like the day we get back on our diet, me and my wife. So um, we got on the scales this morning, and I have put on like 18 and a half pounds or something like that, so like over, like over well over a stone. Um, so it's going to be, we're going to kind of like for the next month, we're not going to get on the scales, we're just going to get back on our diets. And I thought it'd be interesting like, to do a vlog just kind of like as the month goes on, see if I'm like feeling high or low because I'm like cutting out all the crap again and back on the diet. Um, the I think it's the 27th of January or something. Me and my wife are actually going to go out for a meal and um, for a night out. So that is going to be like the first night where we actually don't stick to the diet and we drink and we eat a bit of crap. So um, yeah, this is going to be like my journey through January. January journey. The January journey. Could be a good title for a video. Um, this will be like the journey of January for me and um, getting back on the diet and trying to lose um, a bit of the brilli because yeah I've I've really overindulged this Christmas period so um, yeah we'll uh, we'll see if the month pans out guys I guess and um, fingers crossed by the end of the month we'll be a bit more slimmer. All right, guys, so it is New Year's Eve. Um, so we're like, we're we five days into the diet, I think, doing the diet. Um, currently, just finishing off my office because um, I never actually fully got it finished. So some bits and pieces, um, with a bit of downtime, just putting up like the last bit of plasterboard down there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, like I said, five days into the diet. Things going really well, actually. I wasn't going to get on the get weighed um, until like the end of the month when me and my wife are going to have like our night, but um, we got on the scales this morning, and actually in, was it, five days, I've actually lost like nearly half a stone off, like six and a half pounds in five days, so it just, it's quite mad actually, of like once you like cut out all the crap and you get back into eating regularly, how quickly the body can um, shed the weight, so um, yeah, so far so good, so it's New Year's Eve, um, probably treat myself a little bit tonight, we're going out in town with um, Mr. Me and Mr. Knock, going out with Mrs. Knock's brother and his girlfriend, so um, yeah, I'll probably have a few beers tonight and go a little bit off it, but, um, well, we'll be back on tomorrow, um, but I'll be sure to, you know, update you in the near future. Hey guys, so it's, sorry about our breath, it's Thursday the 4th of January. The reason I sound a little bit out of breath, I've come up with like a new way to get a bit of exercise because um, one of the things I lack a lot of these days is exercise because I work from home now, so I'm really out of breath. And um, I don't get to bite to my mother-in-law's every day, which was two mile round trip. So what I decided to do is when I'm making a coffee, well right now I'm cooking my dinner, I'm going to some, uh, where are we? There we are. Some instant noodles, some chili chicken noodles. But while I'm waiting, I decided I'd like to do some running on the spot, I'll do some jumping jacks or lunges and things. So uh, for a couple of minutes at a time, the amount of coffees I drink in a day, it's like a good, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes of exercise. So yeah, um, I wait to stay active. Had a bit of a blip on New Year's Day. Uh, I said in the previous entry that we went out, we're going out New Year's Eve for some drinks. And then on the Monday, on the way home from that, we had a garlic bread with cheese. And then my wife was like, on New Year's, he's like, yeah, well, let's just get the biscuit barrel out. So we actually like ate loads of biscuits. So I feel a little bit bad, so hopefully, that won't have impacted my loss from the previous week, but um, other than that, diet's going pretty well. I'm not really being tempted by anything, so hopefully we can, you know, by the end of the month, we're still on target for a pretty good weight loss. But I need to catch my breath now. Whew. Okay guys, so we're probably about halfway in now, and um, Things are still going pretty well. Um, we're still eating really well. I've changed what I eat at sort of dinner time. So before 
I was eating a lot of pasta and noodles, but now I've kind of thrown in a jacket potato a couple of times a week just to give a bit of variation. Um, we're still doing like the exercising in between as well. So when we go and make like the coffee, um, I'm still doing some, you know, uh, five minutes of exercise, which is, you know, it works out to about 15 to 20 minutes of exercise a day. So that's um, more than I was getting before. And I'm kind of rotating. So at the moment, one day I'm doing a load of run on spot, a load of star jumps. And then the next day I'm doing some uh, squats and some sort of like um, ab rotation sort of things. So just mixing it up, um, keeping it fresh. But so far everything's going well. We've got about uh, two weeks. It's the 10th today. We've got two weeks and it's about 17 days left before we're going to actually have like the big get on the scales reveal and me and Mrs. Knocker actually going out for a meal and, and enjoy ourselves. So um, yeah, fingers crossed everything is going to stay on track and um, continue to go really, really well. All right, guys, just time for a quick update. It's been a while since I did an update, and I thought it was about time to you know, add something in. Um, so we've got a week to go now until like the final weigh-in for this sort of January thing. Um, this week hasn't been too good. Last Saturday, we, me and Mr. Knott both had a bar of chocolate to ourselves. Um, uh, then we went to the cinema on Wednesday, and we gave in to Temptation again, where we both had a bag of, or we shared two bags of sweets, some minstrels and some M&Ms, so that wasn't too good. And then, um, so the lights behind me. Um, today, again, we've had chocolates and I've had like a few biscuits. So today has not been, well, this week, sorry, has not been a good week at all. Um, but a week to go, hopefully we'll buckle down now. Uh, the meals have still been good. Uh, we've been eating healthy meals. I've still been swapping out my lunch. Uh, I've been having jackie potatoes uh, instead of noodles and pasta every day. And I've also made some homemade soup this week, so I've had that a couple of times. Still been doing my exercising while I'm um, waiting for coffees. So they're still keeping that up, doing about 15, 20 minutes of exercise a day. Um, but yeah, hopefully uh, this week we can just stick to it and have a good week. Got nothing planned in the diary. And um, this time next week we'll be actually out. Me and Mrs. Not are going out in town. We've got some tickets to go see a George Michael and Whitney Houston tribute band acts. So that should be good. And um, we're going to go out and have uh, an three course Italian meal as well. So yeah, we're going to go and sort of celebrate the, the month long of dieting, even though we have sort of like, you know, caved in a couple of times. But I guess next week the scales will tell. And um, if I don't see you before, I will update you next week. Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Knock. Today, we're going to make campfire stew. Now, I've already prepared some of the ingredients. They're right in there. Tomatoes and mushrooms. So, what's next, mate, you add? Well, let me show you. Two tablespoons of this stuff, tomato puree. Slop. Slop. Next up, we add a pinch of crushed chilies or chili flakes, you know, just a pinch because you don't want too much in here because, you know, Mrs. Knopp doesn't like spicy food. So just a pinch, like I said, just a pinch. And then on the assumption that I have enough, um, I want a tablespoon of this stuff, which is actually Worcestershire sauce. I have to put the camera down for this. All right, so there's, there's almost a tablespoon, that'll do. So that goes in there. Lovely stuff. So next up we're going to add a generous helping of a garlic puree. We use this instead of garlic cloves. But uh, yeah, ain't no vampires coming near us tonight. A teaspoon of paprika. Plop. A teaspoon of ground cumin. Plop. A teaspoon of ground coriander. Plop. And yes, it may seem weird, but a tin of baked beans. Get in there, my son. Get in there. Right, I'll scrape that out. Give all that a bit of a stir together at the minute. Oh, look at that. That looks very appetizing, guys. Trust me, though, as, as bad as it looks, it really is a nice, nice meal. Really nice meal. Also put chopped tomatoes and mushrooms in there. For some reason, I didn't record early enough to show that bit, so, yeah. So, now onto what I can do the worst bit, and I absolutely hate them, and it's chopping onions. We need to add two onions into this. And one thing I was always told, or, or I picked up when I was younger, um, was that apparently you should put a smoothie in your mouth when you're chopping onions. Yeah, I don't know who told you 
who told me that that worked, but geez, that does not work at all. My eyes are streaming. <laughs> That's probably about the only time you're ever going to see me cry on camera, guys. I hope, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so all the evil things chopped. We can now pick them up. And we are just going to dump them all into there like that. You evil, evil things. How dare you make me cry. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Get in there. Sweat to your death. <laughs> I'll be laughing later when you're inside my belly. <laughs> You'll be laughing later when you're inside my belly, eh? <laughs> so now that all our ingredients are prepped, as you can see, it's now time to add the pierce de resistance, the gammon. But this just isn't any gammon. This is M&S gammon. So yeah, I'm gonna unwrap this and plop it in the um, cooker. All right, plop that in there. Yeah. We'll go grab ourselves a spoon. All right, the gammon is in. So now we just need to give it a good stir. Get it all around. It doesn't matter about getting it on top of the gammon. It'll cook in this slow cooker. Look at that. So there you go, there is all the prep work done for tonight's meal, which is going to be a campfire stew. So there you go guys, that is all the prep work done for tonight's campfire stew. See it's in the slow cooker now. That'll just like cook away now for like the rest of the day, till about like five o'clock, have a good, good eight, nine hours simmering away and it's really, really nice, it shreds up and goes well with like veg, chips, rice, that sort of thing. Um, what I don't like about this meal is like there's a lot of cleaning up to do. So yeah, I'm gonna get cleaning up, but um, I'll make sure I get a picture for you later when uh, we've all finished and uh, you can see, you know, what it looks like as the end result. Totally healthy on our diet as well. Nothing bad in there, it's all vegetables um, and things you can eat as like a, what they call a free food on our diet. So um, yeah. It's all good. Okay guys, so I should probably update you as to how January finished off. Um, but let me fill you in beforehand. This is like two weeks after, almost two weeks after um, uh, the end of January, like the goal was set. Um, we're kind of, did a thing and, and went out but then the next day I was actually really really badly ill and it, it's kind of like put me back a bit um I think I I think I got like food poisoning or something from the meal we had and what happened was apparently I I was like really ill I was being ill in the, the bathroom and apparently I passed out and started fitting to which um, my wife was uh, very concerned about but um, yeah, we got over that anyway. But yeah, I just kind of like never did the follow-up video for um, the end of this vlog. So um, yeah, anyway, back on track. Um, the result was good. Um, we actually lost uh, nine pounds throughout January in total. So um, I was kind of hoping for a bit more over the period, considering what we lost like in the, like the first little period. But um, yeah, no, you know, nine pounds is, is good. You know, it's over half stone. And hopefully we can continue to build on that going forwards. So, um, yeah, happy days. Back under 16 stone. I wouldn't say exactly how much, but yeah, I'm still, you know, pretty beefy and still a long way to go to get back to where I was. When I ran the um, half marathon back in 2013, I was down to just under 14 stone. I think I was like 13 stone 10 possibly, which is like the lowest I've been for like absolutely ages. And I don't intend to get back to that sort of target and that sort of weight. But yeah, I definitely need to get on with something and um, reduce my weight somehow because I am still big. So. Who knows, maybe we'll do follow-up video vlogs where um, you know, I'll include it in the progress and stuff. But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this like insight into the month of January slash slightly going into February. If you did, please let me know in the comments uh, if you want to see more vlogs. Um, you know, trying to mix it up a little bit, bring some different content. I think you guys are enjoying these vlogs and seeing like uh, a little bit of the behind the scenes kind of stuff. So um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. As always, I've been up, human awesome.